<laughs> is it time for recess yet? I'm so glad you found time to join us here on the Child Care Director's Chair, where Erica Sacoccio shares her best practices that she's refined through her passion of directing child care centers over the last 23 years. From parenting interaction, systems to save you time, money, and stress, to profitability. She shares it all from the Child Care Director's Chair. Hey, child care directors. Thanks for tuning in today. I am so excited you are here. Um, it is April and you know what that means. I am a member of NACI. I hope that you are too. And if you're not, you most definitely should go over to their website and check it out um, or connect with your state affiliate. But it is uh, the week of the young child. And so with that, I want to talk about a few ideas that you can use at your child care center to celebrate. I think, you know, the week of the young child, it's such a special time to celebrate the importance of early childhood education and the amazing work that child care centers do every day. It's time to honor the little ones who bring so much joy into our lives, so much laughter, and recognize the hard work of our dedicated teachers and caregivers who nurture and support them. So here are some ideas that you can do at your child care center during the week of the young child. And I thought I'd give you more than five so you can kind of pick and choose what you think makes sense for your facility. I would say an art show is a wonderful way to showcase what is going on at your center. Feature creative masterpieces in the child care center, display their drawings, their paintings, and crafts for their parents and families to admire. And don't be afraid to invite, you know, the important folks, you know, the mayor, you know, maybe your local state affiliate reps or board members. Um, if you have board members at your own child care center, invite them. Like, really make a big deal about it. Invite a local news reporter, or if they can't come out, maybe you could write a press release, take some photos and send it to your local newspaper. But I love art shows. And I think what I love about the art show is you really can kind of weave in so many different aspects. So we've done art shows many times at our after school program and we would have not only the art but we would have music playing and we would have the children serving snack that they made with the cooking club and really it's a great way to use the art show to showcase all of the great skills that your children are learning at the program especially with the wonderful opportunity to have some older students in your facility if you you know you offer ages six weeks to 12 years old which most programs do you can really get the older students involved with your younger students on the art show. So yeah, love, love, love the art show. You can do an outdoor play day and take the children outside for a day of fun in the sun and plan outdoor games, activities, a picnic to celebrate the joys of nature. Another fun idea. Um, I love picnics. Now I'm in Rhode Island, so it's very seasonal here. So it isn't something we get to do all of the time. So that's why it's so super special when we can. And if you have a nature club or a garden club or a school garden or or something like that, um, it, again, it's another great way to showcase what you're doing. I know some of you out there have organic gardens where you're, where, where you're doing, you know, farm to table, if you will, in your child care centers and growing fruits and vegetables and things like that. Great way to showcase that during an outdoor play day. You can also do a dress up day. We all love dress up days. They're so fun. Let the children dress up as their favorite characters or professions, but encourage creativity and imagination with the day of pretend play. I know I would love to come in as a princess every day, but you know, dress up day is really fun. Make sure the teachers get involved and come in in their, their favorite uh, costume or you know, what, whatever creative way that you guys design for your program, whether it's every Everybody wears a certain color or a spirit day or anything like that. But some kind of dress up fun everybody loves. You can also do a family fun night where you invite parents and families to join in the celebration with a special evening of games, music, and activities. And that does strengthen the bond between home and your child care center and makes you look amazing. You could also host a story time, host a special story time session with a guest reader or storytellers. Engage and encourage the love of reading and storytelling with your young children. Or perhaps even have a puppet maker come in and do a puppet show. I love language and literacy, so uh, story time has definitely got my vote. Um, it's also a great way to have 
families come in. Maybe you have every single day you have a different family come in to do a reading from the story time. Uh, maybe families can bring in a special snack to go with the story time. Allow something that is open enough that allows as many families that want to participate to be able to participate in some way. You could host music and movement and get the children up and moving with a day of music and dance, explore different genres of music, and encourage self-expression through movement. Now, if you're lucky enough to have a great dance studio next to you or even I am very lucky. I have a dance studio owner who works at our child care center part time. And she has been working with infant toddlers and preschoolers for 25 years, teaching them music and movement uh, together. And so, you know, reach out to other small businesses and see how they might want to support your week of the young child. You can have a healthy eating day and teach children the importance of healthy eating with a day of cooking and nutrition activities, create fun and nutritious snacks, or even have have the local chef come on in and uh, meet the children and do some fun activities. You could do a community service project, which I love our community. I love giving back to the community. But you know, when you give back to the community, um, they give back to you is what I've always found. But you can organize a service project with the children. We could plant a garden, we can clean up a park. We can make cards for local seniors. But community service projects, again, has my vote. I really love that. Science exploration, you can spot curiosity and the wonder with a day of science experiments and exploration. Encourage the children to ask questions and discover the world around them. We are lucky we have a company called Mad Science that is in our area. And they always come out and do like really fun workshops and presentations for our children and families. I think that that's something that that they've always enjoyed. So that could be something fun that you do during the week of the young child. And, you know, maybe you could even have the kids build rocket ships out of boxes and you have an astronaut day and you, you explore the galaxy that you make out of a classroom. That could be so fun. Maybe everybody uh, on your team comes in dressed like they are working for NASA. Yeah, so sky's the limit. You work with teachers. You all are very creative. So these are just some fun ways to really celebrate what's going on in your schools. And then last Lastly, you can always put together your own parade. End the week of the young child with a festive parade around the child care center. Let the children march and dance and celebrate the week. So there you have it. The week of the young child is a time to celebrate the magic of childhood and incredible potential of every young learner. So let's come together and honor the support of our little ones who shape the future with their boundless creativity and curiosity. Stay tuned for tomorrow when we talk about some fun ideas to celebrate the amazing teachers who work with our students. And if you like today's episode, we ask that you please go to Apple and give us a review. Um, we really, really do appreciate that. And I appreciate all of you just tuning in day after day. It's such an honor to be here with all of you. Um, you truly don't know how much it means to me. So thank you. And of course, have a great day. Well, all the cute little kiddos have been picked up and it's time to go home. And that'll do it for another episode of the Child Care Director's Chair. Please leave a review so Erica knows the information is helping you to manage and improve your child care centers. Remember to subscribe to get the latest episode from Erica's Child Care Director's Chair. <laughs>